Hey guys, coming back here. Uh, this time it's going to be Bowie knives. And I only got a couple of them. I had, in my way back in my past, I had two other Bowie knives. And, uh, and they broke. They broke. So, um, and, and that's a story unto itself. That is a that is a story unto itself. But after those two buoy knives broke, buoy style knives broke with the clip points. I said, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not going with those again. I'm not buying any more. You know, I don't I don't care if, you know how popular they might be or how American they might be I just don't care you know I can't I could not afford at that time I definitely could not afford a, a knife breaking on me in the field I just couldn't afford it you know that's, that's a, as a life or death thing. Uh, with the knife back then, it wasn't for fun. So when I when I decided to get a Bowie style knife again, you know that that was when when things were real. Um, but previous to that, I mean real real. But previous to that, the first Bowie I had. So I will talk about this just a little bit. The first buoy I had was kind of for fun, all right. That that knife my mother had bought for me as a gift, and I I never told her about it because it was expensive. I mean, we're talking five hundred back then. Five hundred plus dollars was a lot of money. It was a Jimmy Lyle knife, and I broke it. <laughs> It was, a, it was a gift, the, the clip point broke off, and that was the end. I, I didn't ever bring it out, I never showed it to her, I just put it in the sheath. And she, she knew I had it at the time, but she didn't know it was broke. Anyway, I, I felt bad about it, I never, I never let her know about it. So, and then the next knife I got, uh, buoy style was the Buckmaster. The Buckmaster broke. The Buckmaster broke when I was digging in a log, a rotted log. I was digging for grubs. Using it as I thought that it should be used. Survival training. Digging for grubs in a rotted log stump. I think it was a log stump was still on the ground. The end of it broke off and then I was done. I was like no more no more buoy style clip points. It's too easy to break. You can't you can't you just can't afford that when it comes down to life or death. You know you, you just can't. So Anyway, I got this Camelus made knife. This is a cold steel recon scout, USA made. Lynn Thompson sent this to me himself. Lynn Thompson sent me this knife himself. He sent it to me uh, overseas. And I got a heck of a deal on this knife. I paid like 80 bucks. I and a, a, a couple other guys, two, three other guys, we got together. Somebody had get, somebody had got a hold of a Cold Steel video. Um, I gotta keep I gotta keep this time under control here. Uh, somebody had gotten a hold of a Cold Steel video. Back when cold steel was great, and uh, 
Lynn Thompson still running the show and all that. And I saw these knives. They were jamming them into cars and bending them at, you know, 30, 35 degrees, something like that. And the vice, they would go back to true. Uh, this is 5 sixteenths of an inch thick on the spine with a swedge backing there. Man, those guys were watching this video. I don't know who got a hold of this video, but we acquisitioned some knives. And uh, Lynn Thompson sent them. And anyway, we watched these videos and, and and I decided to give the buoy style a chance again because this this knife was so incredible when I saw it. I couldn't believe. I mean, I just couldn't. You just can't fathom a knife being so tough going through all that, you know. And I thought, well, I won't. I won't go hungry with this knife, you know. I can dig out all the grubs I want. And let me tell you, I have pried with this knife. I have chopped with this knife. I have. I have been through the ringer with this knife, and it never let me down. This knife has been all over the world, this knife right here. And uh, this knife lives on my web gear, okay? When I got it, I really wanted to get the Trailmaster, which you saw in my hand a few minutes ago. I really wanted the Trailmaster, but... At the time, I don't think the Trailmaster came in black. This was geared more towards tactical. And I thought that, well, this is more practical, you know. I don't, I don't know, a seven, seven and a half inch blade. I don't remember. So, um, but I thought, well, this would be more practical. It'll serve, you know, the combat survival role. Uh, back then they didn't have all these fancy fire steels they got now you know but uh, it, it will strike a ferro rod back then they had uh, magnesium block with the I, I guess it was it was ferrocerium on the side uh, made by Dones. Dones was the official survival uh, magnesium block. And they exported those to military units all over the world uh, back in the day, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you saw, you know, you can scrape fire steel with it. Um, And at some at some point, I removed a couple of inches of the coating here using a using paint stripper. I masked it off, and I removed a couple of inches, and then wiped it down. And it was just bare steel there. And then I I did uh, perma blue on there, so it kind of blends in now. But um, it's a convex edge. Uh, full tang. This brass tube goes through the tang. I wrapped it. Uh, I wrapped it really tight with paracord that has the strands removed. Um, I did that initially on this knife because the adhesive glue inside of the craton handle after so many years and so much use it started uh, delaminating a little bit so I I think that I stuck some contact cement down in there a little bit and squeezed it and then wiped off the excess and then I wrapped it and uh, it never had any more issue but uh, yeah this knife has been a fantastic 
uh, tool. Uh, like I said, it's a Camelus knife. Uh, Cold Steel designed it. Camelus made it. Camelus is very popular overseas. But of course, Camelus doesn't actually exist anymore. They don't make knives no more. They have other companies make knives. Somebody bought the name. But they used to make this carbon 5 steel. Tough as a mother. Yeah. That is a that is one heck of a knife, let me tell you. So still got it. Still fully functional. So I I looked everywhere and I ended up picking up this Trailmaster while I could still get it. This one I wanted over the regular one from the old days because it's Sanmai 3 with the Hamaguri convex blade. So what that means is, is that the convex is completely from the spine down to the edge. It convexes the whole way. There is no bevel at all. It's just one one thing, just like a katana. Samurai sword, right? Katana. So, the Hamaguri convex blade, it has that. It is uh, Sanmai 3. It's the VG1 steel, which is your sandwich layered steel. Super sharp. Uh, and also, this particular knife was made during the Ventura days. This is a new old stock knife. Uh, this is when Lynn Thompson still owned the company. And, and this knife was made in Japan by a master knife maker. I forget his name, but I've seen a bunch of his knives other than this. And he hand makes knives. He's still alive over there, I believe. Old guy now. Anyway, made in Japan for cold steel. It's made just like the Recon Scout that Cam Camelus made, uh, except it's made in Japan by that fellow. And then uh, it's longer. Okay, it's it's just a it's just a a, a a big brother to that one. So I wanted one of these back in the day. So I got one is a backup fighting knife, backup fighting survival knife. So, uh, yeah. So that's the Cold Steel Trailmaster from Ventura, California, right? That's the Ventura days many years ago now. But, yeah, this one is still ready to go. You know, I'm just... All you gotta do to keep most of these knives sharp after they're convex is just, you know, give them a strop. And then they'll come right back up to shaving sharp. You know, it's, it's so easy to maintain. Man, that thing is, that thing is sharp. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to come back with uh, another knife. Uh, Nesmuk inspired. Okay, it's a good knife. And uh, I will see you there.